Take a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. All right, what's up, guys? This is Tom Taylor with Seth China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts. Uh, joined this evening by one of the top atom weights in one championship and one of the, one of the nicest people to talk to in this sport, Jihan Radzwan. Jihan, it's been Hello. a long time since I've spoken to you. Uh, so long hey. ago that you might not even remember it. Um, but how are things going? I know you're in Thailand now. How's life? Yeah, everything is great. It's just like another day. But the thing is, there's no cat here. <laughs> that was going to be one of my first questions for you. Uh, I, I have a cat too. I love cats. I hate being away from my cat when I'm traveling. You have what, 16 cats? <laughs> uh, you must be you must be sad to be away yeah. from them, right? Uh, I have to keep it inside the heart. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, right, it's well, very sad. Yeah, we don't have to talk about the cats too much if it's going to make you cry. Okay. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, things are going good in, in, in Thailand, though. The training's good. Everything's everything's going well. Yeah. So like uh, at at first, like I'm trying to get used to the situation here, but then you know it's been like almost five months, or I was here since June. So like I'm adapting to the life, and then like it's like a normal day for me. Mm -hmm. So how is it different day to day than it is in Malaysia? What what changes for you in Thailand? Obviously, there's some language challenges, but but what else? Yeah. So um the language and then uh like uh back in Malaysia like if I go to the gym I have to drive around, like for here it's just like walking distance it's just like mm. you know like less than five minutes away so I have to walk every uh to the gym and then if I want to go to anywhere I will just take tuk tuk or just walk and yeah, that's the difference yeah. and then other than that I think it's more or less just the same. That's good. Yeah, I mean Thailand's beautiful. It's a nice place to nice yeah. place to be for sure. And uh, your training there has really paid off from the looks of it, right? You just had a fight a few weeks back. You beat yeah. Gentleman Olsum, very impressive Thank fashion. You. It was an arm bar, just a beautiful, beautiful performance. Um, Thank now you. that it's been a couple of weeks since then, how are you feeling about that fight and that performance? Um, I think like it's 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 good to be back in the you know in the fighting scene. Like you know, that I've been away for like almost a year. So like that fight is really put me back on map, fighting maps. So we'll see what's next for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to get into what's next for sure. But just uh, in terms of that fight that you had, I think a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people didn't even know you were fighting because they announced it a few days beforehand. And I yeah, didn't yeah, know yeah. Until, you were, until you were walking out to the ring. I was like, oh, Jihan's fighting. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, what? What was it like fighting on that Lumpini card? It's sort of under the radar. What was that experience like compared to the big stadium shows? Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, like uh, for one Lumpini, it's like, uh, you know, like uh, what I've heard that they only post the main card. I mean, like the the fight card is on like one week before. So I'm not sure whether I can I can announce it or not. So just like I'm 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 not too sure about it. So I just keep it like you know keep it mm -hmm. for myself. And then a week before, just that I updating that I'm looking for my next uh uh fight sponsors, and then I announcing the fight and everything, and then people were like, "Huh, oh, you fighting uh this week?" And then the experience itself is very, you know, it's it's a, it's been a while since I'm fighting in the ring, so it's kind of it's fun. Like I mean, like I think I'm getting used to. Fighting in the ring, like because of uh, in Fairtex, we train in the ring as well for MMA. So that's not one. That's one thing. And then another thing is like uh, you can see from my performance that I was, like I said, I've been away for like a year. So I was scared that I might froze or something. But I'm doing quite well. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a great performance, and it was kind of a really and, nice surprise to see that you were fighting. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and and you know like it's. The historical stadium, of course, is like, uh, you know, a very good experience for me. Mm -hmm. And it must just feel really nice to get back in there after a year, right? You said you were worried about freezing yeah. up a little bit, but it, it didn't look like you did. It must have been a really nice feeling to get back in and get that win. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you've also obviously been very busy helping Stamp get ready for her big fight that she just had. Um, I mean, what was yeah. that experience like helping her prepare? How how closely were you working with her? Was it every day? Uh, yeah. So like, uh, as you know, I was here early of the year as well, and then they wanted me to 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 help her again this time. And then the fight's supposed to be in 
July or August, I forgot. But then I was here since June. So like, uh, and then the fight got postponed. And then I told them that probably you can give me one fight in Lumbini. So like um, working with her is like very, you know, like it's a great experience that I can improve my striking. And then for the grappling and then like, you can see I, I, I did like some work with her. Yeah. A, mm-hmm. The experience, of course, you train with the champion. You know, it's a great yeah, experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't sure. know what to I'm say, sure. but it's a great experience. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's very, very fruitful for both of you. It's going to make you both a lot better, obviously, as you said. Um, her fight against Ham went very well for her, obviously. You know, it was kind of close at the yeah. beginning, but then she got a decisive victory. Did you yeah. and did you know, do you think anyone in Fairtex expected her to win that impressively? Of course. I mean, um, of course, for some reason, we know that Ham is a very talented and she's very experienced fighter. And she know what to do for MMA, you know, like uh, for the previous fight, uh, if you if you, if you see before, like she know what to aspect when people take her down and she know how to control the game she know like when the strike comes in and everything but then for this fight maybe it wasn't her day so like you know it's I was expecting this fight is gonna be like brutal you know like probably mm-hmm. uh, uh, striking exchanges and then like uh, some takedowns defense and everything but yeah it's like I put this expectation this high and Stems did very impressive work. Yeah, she she looked great out there, and it obviously speaks to the quality of her training and her training partners as well. It was uh, it was just a great <laughs> night for her and the team, I'm sure. Um, so, what do you think is next for Stamp? Obviously, there's quite a few contenders in this division now. You're one of them, but uh, who do you think should be the next title challenger in this weight class? Um, so, f- if you're talking about MMA, I think for for the next one. It's very hard to say because uh, she's the champion now and then the rank number one is Ham and then the second one is, if not mistaken, is Denise. Might be nice. So probably Denise, they're yeah. going to, yeah. So probably they're going to give like the fight to Denise or um, like other scenario is probably uh, rematch again with, Stan, uh, with, with Ham. But we'll see how it goes because sometimes mm-hmm. you just don't know what, you know, like the 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 fight card is not tally with the rank. So we'll see. But right. then for my prediction, I think it's probably um, rematch with Ham or against Denise. Right, right. And now I hate to ask, but you're a contender in this division too. And you've got, you're riding a win now. I know you've fought Stamp quite recently, but you know, your friends and training partners now, what happens if you're yeah. both in a position again where, where one championship wants you to fight? Is that, could that happen still? Or are those days kind of over for you too? Um, so, you know, like, I think, like, uh, everyone in the weight, uh, at the weight division, the goal is to be the champion. And, uh, like, you know, like, when you got into the, when you get into the ring or into the cage, it's, uh, it's a fight. It's our work. So, but, of course, I'm not saying that, oh, right now, I want to, I want to challenge them. Like, probably, like, I will climb myself. I want to prove myself more and get to where I deserve. Like, for now, I think, like, we should give uh the title for the one who deserves like maybe top three you know like I want to climb myself and then and we'll see how it goes and for um like I said like you know it's uh it's not like in the bad terms like I'm still friends with her I I I love what she's doing I I really look up look up on her but then it's not my style like oh she got a belt right now and I want to challenge her you understand what I'm saying like mm-hmm. for now, yeah, I want to prove myself mm-hmm. more and then we'll see from there. Yeah, yeah, totally fair. I totally understand that. Um, in terms of yeah. proving yourself, have you given any thought to who Joe, you'd Joe, like Joe. to fight next? Is there anybody that you'd you'd like to fight? Um, it, it's very hard to say. Like for now, like I just got my, uh, you know, like uh, I supposed to fight Janeline back in 2019. Like, she kept calling me out, and then I fought her, and I proved myself uh, for that. Uh, and then for the next fight, I think it's very hard to say, because sometimes, like, I would say that probably rematch with Denise or Izuki or anyone in the top contender, uh, it's either number four or number three. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. 
Yeah. Yeah, I was actually I was looking at the rankings uh, not long before we jumped on this on this call, and um, someone I've sort of forgotten about was the Ukrainian girl Aliona Rasovina. Yeah. She she was off yeah. having a baby. She's had her baby yeah. now, and I saw she posted on Instagram that she's hoping to fight again, you know, fairly soon. Mm -hmm. To me, that might be a good one for you. Like, would you be willing to welcome her back when she's ready to come back? Uh, um, I like like you know my style. I never like deny any fight. Like I just accept the offer if like there's no like you know no there's if there's nothing like blocking me from getting into the fight. I I don't I don't I don't see any um uh, excuse that I should uh you know decline mm -hmm. the fight. But we'll see how it goes. But the thing is, like she's been away for like two years, I think, mm -hmm. and I don't mm -hmm. think that she deserved the rank. I I think we should give to like someone who just fought recently, maybe Yusuke or someone. But mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a very great matchup, and like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of people feel that way. You know, she's been gone for so long. Obviously, a good a good yeah. reason for being gone, but it has yeah. been a long time. It, um, no hard feeling, just like course, yeah. really yeah. honest yeah. talking. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, I think yeah, people understand for sure. Um, one way or the other, there's not really any bad fights in this division. There's so many talented girls yeah. that you can match true, anybody true. up with anybody else, and it's it's all good. Um, so taking opponents out of the equation, then what's the, what's the time frame for you that you'd like to get back in there? Are you hoping to fight once more this year or early next year? Um, you know, like I've been, I've been inactive for like almost a year again. And I just fought, uh, recently, I think like if I, I'm, I'm clearly free injuries, I think if they want to give me like another one fight by the end of the year, I, sh I, I would be, you know, uh, happy to accept and probably like if there's no fight for this year, maybe early of the of of next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Well, I can't wait to see you fight again. Certainly, I know a lot of a lot of other fans feel that way. Um, now, this probably goes without saying, but for you, the goal is still the belt. I know Stamp has it now, so it's a bit complicated, but you're still focused on yes. winning that title and, and becoming a champion for Malaysia. Yes, exactly. Nice, nice. Um, well, one thing I wanted to ask you about before I let you go uh, is Angela Lee's retirement. Of course, she had a, has had a very difficult uh, couple of years with her family some terrible things happened a lot of people were wondering what her announcement would be um yeah late last month um and in the end she retired as a lot of people expected i'm just wondering what what your thoughts on uh kind of her career are and and you know what it means now that she's gone you know she leaves quite a big uh quite a big hole in the division you know and, you know she's uh she's the biggest um inspired and she's the, like influence for um how to say uh female fighter in one championship like she she was the first champion at the young age and then I was hoping that she's gonna come back like if I was like you know like it's hard to predict what people's decision like some people they might uh how to say eager to fight for like you know for the loved one and then some people they feel sad like feel very how to say they cannot forget the moment or like mm -hmm. like every time mm -hmm. she probably like in, in in one situation when she get into the cage or when she's training she re reminds her for or her mm -hmm. loved one so i think i totally understand that why she wanted to retire but um at first i thought she's gonna you know defend the title mm -hmm. and keep the title for her but anything you know whatever her decision i think it's it's all for her not for everyone, mm -hmm. like everything good for her. And then, you know, she should go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I understand. That's, that's very well said. Um, and one more um, question on that note, that, that card that stamp fought on and that Angela made her announcement on uh, the top of that card was all, was all women. And uh, one has done that once before with the all women's card, you know, at the start of the Grand Prix, I believe. Would you like to see them do that more often? I thought, I think that's pretty cool when they do that. You, you want to see all more? Yeah. All women's cards? Yeah, I know. I mean, like, for, I mean, like, recently, I mean, like, in this year, there's not many girls' card. I mean, like, female fighter in the card. Probably you can see only one in, like, every two or three fight, you know, fight card. So, I think they should do more often. Like, um, in one championship, we have a lot of uh, female fighter that have been, like, quiet for quite some time. I think it sh they should do more often. It's, you know, like, sometimes when you see male fighters fighting it's it's become or like it's a 
it's the ordinary things already. Like you watch, oh, this guy is good. You know, like she, he's strong. And then when you see girls, female fighter in the fight card, and then you can see like, it's very exciting, you know? Mm-hmm. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's Absolutely. very exciting. Like every 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 single time that if like one F, uh one championship uh do the all females fight a fight car and then I will be like very excited to watch. Mm-hmm. Me too. And then and then just in terms of the atom weight division, I think this is one of the best divisions in one championship. Not just because you've got these great fighters, but fighters with like really interesting personalities. You know, like yourself, like Stamp, just some fun fun fighters that people really relate to. Yeah. And I've yeah. I've said this before. I've even said it to Chatri like you've got to really promote this division, you know? Like, would you like to see one really kind of invest in the atom weight division, maybe sign some new fighters, make some big fights in this weight class? Absolutely. I mean, like like you said, it's a great uh, division. And I think that uh, everyone has their own uh, personality and then they know how to carry themselves and then they fight well as well. So I think it's going to bring more audience to watch. Like, you know, like female fighter, uh, you know, sometimes they look down on female fighter but then like for one championship they really have something like we have personality and we fight good too so mm-hmm. this is gonna be like bring more crowd to watch mm-hmm. yeah yeah very well said um well listen jihan it's already been over 15 minutes that i've kept you i don't want to keep you too much longer i know it's getting late over there <laughs> probably almost bedtime um yeah. but let's wrap it up with this uh you know any message for your supporters any message for your fans Oh, of course, it's just an, uh, uh, the same old, uh, you know, note that thank you everyone that support me. And then like, uh, I appreciate the weight. I appreciate the loves. I appreciate, the, uh, you know, like everything. <laughs> thank you again. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give him a follow.